how does someone go from not knowing if they have a gift to believing that they have one so that then that gift can appear to them? Like, how do they shift some of the belief um, in, in themselves for that? Oh, wow. You, you harping on my topic now. Like I can really <laughs> get, him, get it to my bag on this was to R- really the whole belief notion is more real than what people give it credit for, because what you focus on the longest becomes the strongest. And for mm. me at this stage of my life, I can humbly say I travel this country. People pay me to speak at their events. When I was young, though, I didn't believe I had. I I really did not believe that I could put two words together, let alone say a complete sentence, because I was verbally bullied for the way that I sounded. I had this raspy voice and kids mocked me in school. They would take their jabs at me at recess and huddle around in circles as they were good mimicking my voice. It made me want to like crawl in the fetal position somewhere in the corner to hide. And it wasn't really until someone believed in me that my belief kicked in. And it was my mom. It was truly my mom who was my my speech coach, my voice coach, but before I ever really wanted one. She would hand me like (laughs) these long speeches and make me recite them verbatim. She'd make me act as if I was the next Martin Luther King Jr. trying to deliver his people from freedom. That's really how she was, dude. (laughs) And Uh, I'm saying all of that to say, if I'm able to tell you, I went from not wanting to use my voice to being made a mockery for my voice for now people paying me to speak. And it's not about the dollars. It's also about trying to use my voice to, and I know that I've done this shift the generation, turn a generation into a better direction. I'm telling you, I'm that person that's saying, I believe in you with whatever you got, with whatever you might think that you have. You just got to focus on that belief that I'm trying to instill you and impregnate you with that my mom impregnated me with. So that's where it's got to start. If you don't if you don't have the belief yourself, you got to look for some sign of I think someone or something believing in you until your belief kicks in. And once my belief started to kick in that I had something to share via my yeah. voice. Oh, the game was over. Like it was yeah. over, bro. I I love it. One thing too that's uh I think partners up with this beautifully is something that's been playing through my head a lot lately is like we all not all, but oftentimes a lot of people procrastinate. And there's this thing that I kind of do where it like kicks procrastination in, in in the ASS, we'll say. And it's this simple phrase and it's should must now. And it's like well, yeah. is there and it's and you partner it with uncomfortable action. It's not like, mm. oh, I should eat a sandwich because I'm hungry. Well, Stu said that I must eat a sandwich. I'm going to go make a sandwich. No, it's like, what is this whisper that I know we're talking about today a lot on this podcast? Right. What's the whisper that I know I should do, even if it scares the crap out of me? Well, then I must do it and then I must do it right now. So it's like, what is what's the the gift that you think you may have that you may not believe in yourself? Now you're hearing us kind of shed some belief on you today. And what's the thing you could say, okay, if I if I know I should do this and this is the thing that's calling in me, you must do it. And you if must you must do it. do it, the time is today. The time is right now. And I think it's just a beautiful calling for anybody listening to this to say, take, take the action today. Go should, must, now. Do it even if it scares you. And like you said, once you do step into that lane that's your gift and you start then believing in yourself, then the game's over. Yeah, because belief is action, too. That that really is. It's hard for you to tell me that you believe that you're gifted and you haven't really acted upon anything. Like, how do I know if my mom's mac and cheese tastes great if she's <laughs> not in the kitchen cooking? It, it takes action. And, for yeah, I, I love it. Yeah. And, and so what would you say are um, a few ways, if someone's listening to this and they're going, well, what are a few ways I can start to, like, discover some of my gifts? Like what, what is a piece of advice you give them on how they can start to find that if some people feel like, well, I don't, maybe I don't know what it is. I'm not getting the whisper yet. <laughs> yeah, I get that question a lot. And I love the words of Socrates. He, he said, the unexamined life is a life not worth living. And it really comes Damn. down to, yeah, man, it comes down to ruthlessly interrogating yourself. You got to do it 
almost subconsciously sometimes. Asking yourself question after question after question after question. This is how you discover your gift. I talk about it a little bit in my book for sure, but I mean, it's got to be key questions like what are you able to spend the most time on almost as if you forgot about time because you're, <laughs> yeah. you're having just that much fun with it. Right, right now, still, I can tell you've done this a time or two because you're nice with it. You, you, you ask questions. You, you <laughs> let me talk. I've been on a number of podcasts where it's like, is it about me or is it about you right now? Which one? Should I be asking the question? Sure. You, you're good at this. And, and, and that's another thing. You get the validation from others. And I'm not talking about your best friend who don't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> I'm talking about mere strangers that when you get in front of them, yeah. it's almost like they want to give you a round of applause. You got to ask yourself those type of questions. Because if you don't examine yourself to know what you're truly mm. good at, and if you're not spending necessary me time to figure it out, you're not going to, you're not going to land on your gift. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. You said an unexamined life is a well, is a life it's, not well lived. Uh, uh, an unexamined life is a life not worth living. Damn. Yeah. Like, is it's, it's that, is that crucial? Yeah. It's crazy. And, and it is so true that it's like, if you really want to figure out what you want to do with your life, it's an introspective game. It's not an extra, if that's a word, extra. Yeah. It's not outside. Mm -hmm. It's internal. It's not external. It's not, oh, what did my mom say? What did my best friend say? What is the, the people that I follow on Instagram doing? It's like, well, no, Int like get introspective. Mm -hmm. I love how you said it, like interrogate yourself, figure out what's what the hell's on the inside here. What do I really want? And then go from that place of internal direction rather than external direction. Yeah. 